thrombophilia and SLE in pregnancy. Thrombophilia is an abnormality of blood coagulation that increases the risk of thrombosis. Uh, such abnormalities can be identified in 50% of people who have an episode of thrombosis that was not provoked by other causes. Both inherited and acquired thrombophilias are established causes of systemic thrombosis and have been implicated as a possible cause in recurrent miscarriage and late pregnancy complications with a presumed mechanism being thrombosis of the uteroplacental circulation. Inherited thrombophilias are genetic conditions that increase the risk of thromboembolic disease, factor V laden, prothrombin gene mutation, protein S and C deficiency, antithrombin 3 deficiency. Most prominent example of acquired thrombophilias is antiphospholipid syndrome. Antiphospholipid syndrome during pregnancy, the thrombogenic potential of these disorders is enhanced because of the hypercoagulable state produced by normal pregnancy-associated changes in several coagulation factors. It has been or it has been hypothesized that these disorders increase the risk of thrombosis at the maternal placental interface, resulting in placenta-mediated complications like early miscarriage, recurrent miscarriages, late fetal loss, preeclampsia, fetal growth restriction, and placental abruption. The incidence of VTE in women with thrombophilia is also augmented if additional risk factors are present, such as personal history of VTE, family history of VTE, medical comorbidities like cancers, nephrotic syndrome, obesity, BMI more than 30, smoking, age more than 35, assisted reproduction, dehydration like hyperemesis gravidarum and ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, multiple pregnancy, and parity more than or equal 3. Publications state that women with inherited thrombophilia may be subject to recurrent pregnancy loss. The European Prospective Cohort on Thrombophilia identified a group of 1,384 women positive for thrombophilia who showed an increased risk of miscarriage and a greater in increased risk of stillbirth. 14 subsequent studies, studies have confirmed the relationship with second and third trimester losses and a slightly increased risk of first trimester losses for some of the thrombophilias. The presumption is that the inherited thrombophilia predispose to placental vasculopathy. However, how they might cause increased first trimester loss through a thrombotic mechanism is uncertain. Antiphospholipid syndrome is the acquired uh, thrombophilia, which is an autoimmune disorder that characterized by vascular thrombi and or pregnancy morbidity in the presence of persistent antiphospholipid antibodies, which are anticardiolepin antibodies beta-2 glycoprotein-1 antibodies, and lupus anticoagulant. Antiphospholipid syndrome is classified as primary and secondary um, according to its association with other autoimmune disorders. Primary uh, APS is diagnosed in patients demonstrating a clinical and laboratory criteria for the disease without other recognized Autoimmune disease secondary is diagnosed in patients with SLE. Um, one clinical criteria and one laboratory criteria or criterion is required um, in the following way. Clinical criteria, one or more episodes of arterial venous or small vessel thrombosis, pregnancy morbidity, adverse pregnancy outcome, which is more than one unexplained death is uh, of morphologically normal fetus more than 10 weeks, more than one preterm birth um, uh, of morphologically normal uh, uh, neonate because of uh, placental disease. This should be before 34 weeks. Uh, placental disease like severe preeclampsia, uh, um, placental abruption, intrauterine growth restriction, intrauterine fetal demise, etc. 
more than three unexplained uh, spontaneous uh, pregnancy loss before 10 weeks of gestation. Laboratory criteria. Um, the uh, antiphospholipid antibodies should be elevated in medium or high titers um, to occasions at least 12 weeks apart. SLE is an autoimmune disorder commonest in young women. Diagnosis um, uh, depending on uh, clinical and biochemical uh, markings. Um, or markers, flare-up increase in pregnancy can be confused with preeclampsia. Um, SLE and pregnancy associated with poor obstetric outcome if, if lupus positive. Uh, drug therapy can lead to, um, uh, to congenital abnormalities and worsening of maternal disease uh, can happen in pregnancy like lupus nephritis. It can lead to preterm birth. PET uh, risk is increased. Growth restriction in um, uh, in the baby. Neonatal lupus. Um, congenital heart block risk with uh, uh, anti rho and anti la antibodies. Less than five percent um, mothers with SLE have. Babies with uh, neonatal lupus uh, erythematosus. It is rare. Maternal antibodies, um, when positive anti rho and anti la, associated with increased risk of uh, neonatal lupus. Um, it, uh, the baby has dermatological findings, isimha erythematous scaling plaques, uh, cardiac findings, congenital heart block and the hematological findings are uh, uncommon to be found in the babies.